During the campaign, I was asked, uh, uh, what's the one thing I would do if I were president? What, if I could just do one thing? I said, I'd cure cancer. Not because it's the most frightening thing that exists out there, but we used to think we could handle anything. And cancer, we sort of gave up on the notion that we could, we could cure cancer. Everything we've ever put our mind to, we've been able to do. And I was trying to make the point that it's essential that we keep that spirit and keep that, that, that sense. And uh, I said beating cancer because we can, because they wanted to inject a sense of optimism in what we can do as a country. But there's still a lot more work to do, and that, uh, that's focusing today on, that's what we're here today, uh, to coordinate as much as we can, find out the progress we're making among the cancer cabinet. And uh, with that, I'll turn it over to Joe. You did good things, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> you did good things, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. <laughs> Flashback. If I'm elected president, you're going to see the single most important thing that changes in America is we're going to cure cancer. The first frost. You know what was happening. You had to put on your windshield wipers to get literally the oil slick off the window. That's why I and so damn many other people I grew up have cancer. If you could do anything at all, Joe, what would you do? I said I'd cure cancer. They looked at me like, why cancer? Because no one thinks we can. That's why, and we can. We end the cancer as we know it. Deliver on our sacred obligations to veterans is the second thing I think is critically important. We end the cancer as we know it. We end the cancer as we know it. We end the cancer as we know I decided to uh, make sure we defeat cancer. No, 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 I'm not joking. Now, here's the deal. What we did was, we have a thing in the, I didn't plan, I was just going to keep you a little longer, I apologize. But what happened was that there's a thing in the Defense Department that has a special agency that does nothing but deal with those things that are needed to keep us safe. Like, for example, everything they invented, they're the ones that came up with the internet. They're the ones that came up with a whole range of things that make us much safer. By the, go, you know the, you know the thing. And, uh, and I decided to set up the same thing at the Department of Health and Human Services that focuses on one thing, defeating cancer. Defeating cancer. And we provided an additional $5 billion grant to do that. And so we're, we're going to defeat cancer. We really are. There's nothing beyond our capacity. One of the things that bothers me the most about sort of what's happened under the other guy's control is that we've sort of lost confidence in ourselves. We, there, you know, there's nothing we cannot do when we set our mind to it, and we do it together. I mean nothing, nothing. And so, folks, folks, we're, we are going to beat cancer, I'm, and I, I, I promise you that. So together, I know we are going to end cancer as we know it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Everyone, please move out the doors. Let them begin the meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Good work. Thank you.